in a tournament that's absolutely been pummeled by bad weather with rain just coming down by the buckets the 2013 Michigan Open is finally ready for some great weather and some great golf. Tom Workmeister, an internet salesperson from Kentwood, is an amateur without a major win on his golf resume. With last year's champion Brett Kelpin at Kalamazoo in his group and looking to repeat, Workmeister knew he had his work cut out if he was going to win the Michigan Open. They spent the final round dueling with each other as they opened play five shots ahead of nearest competitor Christopher Morey of Hazlitt. On 12, they traded pars on the very tough 12th. But Workmeister never saw his lead grow by more than two, and that kept everyone in it. He wasn't the only amateur to play well. Metro area players Francesco Rafino made par in a 375-yard par 4-8. Sean Friel cards a birdie on the very tough uphill dogleg right eighth hole and was happy with his first experience at the Michigan Open. It was a lot of fun. It was a good experience playing in like a pro tournament. It's the first time I've ever played in one, so outside of amateur golf, this is my first one. The top-ranked golfer of high school age in Michigan is Ypsilanti's Henry Doe. This future attendee of North Carolina was razor sharp with rounds under par each day of the tournament. His irons were firm and his birdie on the very first hole would be offset the rest of the day with both birdies and bogeys. Nick Dennis of Waterford and formerly a brother Rice earned par with a deft tee shot on the par 3 fifth but Darren Hussey was not so lucky. His tee shot went into the marsh and several people looked for several minutes, but he had to tee off a second time and he earned a five on the hole. Jeff Stalkup, the host professional at the Orchards, earns a par at the eighth on the strength of a strong iron shot and route to a tie for 57th place. Steve Brady, a two-time winner of the event from Birmingham and a recent Hall of Fame inductee, cards a bogey on the very tough par four seventh. Randy Erskine of Rochester, a five-time winner of this event, earns par on the very same hole. Brian Cairns of Fox Hills hits driver on the fourth. He would find a round no better than 70 this week. The weather was overcast early on the day, but as the sun came out, birdies came more easily to the golfers. This was evident as the shots of the tournament happened on the 160-yard par 3 12th. Lee Hunneman fired an iron at the pin, and he comes up aces. I said shots, and darned if the six-time winner of this event, Scott Hebert, didn't hit the flagstick, have the ball bounce in the cup, out of the cup, and then off the green, all in one shot. His great chip helped him earn par. They talk about their shots on this no, hole. A lot of times when you fly them in, they don't stay in. Um, you know, whether or not Lee's ball was in there was, was the difference. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things in golf. For those in contention, Andrew Ruthkowski of Muskegon started the day six shots off the lead, but made a charge. His birdie on the number 12 brought him to within four shots of the lead, but he couldn't get any closer as the day went on. Barrett Kelpin made par at the 12th. Coming down the stretch, his approach shot found the sand on the 17th, but a sand save was not made, and it netted him a bogey on the hole. Workmeister tried to ice a tournament, but slid his birdie putt by the 17th. With a two-shot lead entering number 18, Workmeister was not nervous, and his two-putt kept the 2012 champion at bay. The top prize of the tournament is eight grand, but the champ stays an amateur, and while Kelpin finished second, he gets the big check. Workmeister is the first amateur in 38 years to take the Michigan Open. He didn't mind being the front runner. After the first day, I was up by three, and um, so yeah, where, where, I don't know. I just, uh, I guess, stuck to my game plan. Um, hit the ball really well. Putted really well the first three days, not so well today, but uh, just kept it, really kept it in play. While Workmeister will not go to Disneyland with the win, you will see him at the Michigan Amateur next week. For the Oakland Press and other newspapers in the Heritage family, this is Roy J. Akers reporting.